Charlie Foxtrot. Let's get back to it! It's only a little, but it helps now that you've learned the ropes. Are you helping out today? Oh, I'm gonna grab start with Cedric! Ah! <laughs> I'll teach you how to make good coffee. Its taste all depends on you, though. Oh, yeah? Hit me with some knowledge, oh. Sojuro san Sama. Okay, today we're gonna try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian, a medium fine city roast. Oh, don't let the water boil too much. Alright, <laughs> you're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad, though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Hmm. It does... Uh, well, no, it doesn't. I, you know what? Legitimately, <laughs> I'm kind of interested in the... I, I don't drink coffee, and I have never known... I didn't know that you mix different types of beans. I'm actually interested. Oh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans. Got it. Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice cup to complement my coffee. What? <laughs> Something about the quantification of taste. There's no formula for the flavor, but this is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop, after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. <clears throat> Haven't I already told I don't have the money. Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Ah, uh, no need to hide it, Sakura san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. What? Is Sojiro a secret agent? What the hell? <laughs> Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too, for nothing more than charity? I wish you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> <coughs> If you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in, or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... Uh... Uh... <laughs> You know what? Let's be subtle about this. Sojiro's probably not gonna be pleased about anything that's like really big and showmanshipy and I'm taking charge and let's just let's just quietly Oh, there's that social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right, I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. HA! Get lost, Jeez. leader! Does he really have nothing better to do? <sighs> I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stunt off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I knew it! Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I can make curry! All right. <laughs> you can make curry on days when there are ingredients for curry. At the refrigerator at the block. You will be 
unable to make curry during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Try cooking at night when the stove is free. Okay. Still, why do you poke around in other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? It's that time already? <sighs> I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Who's it? Uh, never mind that. No, then. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. I can sense the compassion in me. <laughs> Whoa! Double kindness for hanging out with Sojuro? I knew he was a big softy. I knew he was a big softy at heart. Hey, Dene. Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. I probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing and get on with the job. Got it? Understood. Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this. Later. Ah, you hear that? He trusts me! He trusts me! Sojuro trusts me! He's a bunch of pixels in code, and I'm happy that he trusts <laughs> Oh, Matarame's on the What's big up screen. With that old geezer? Oh, wait, okay, I'll shut up. Uh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I, so I guess I've changed a part of work. This, this country's art world and, and even Sayori... Wow. It, wow! Holy crap! That is some guilt! How could I, oh, my I Lord. possibly <laughs> apologize to... To everyone he's for losing his for what I've done. Look at that unhinged <laughs> trauma. That is all trauma right there. <laughs> he's crying way too much. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wow. Wasn't he it on worked. TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, <laughs> and... That old man's done for. Yep. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. A police hospital? They... They have those? However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. Yep. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Hey, that, that's just mean. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves <laughs> the Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame. What up? Visit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. <laughs> Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. <laughs> Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel oh, yeah? like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. The proof is in the TV screen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. <laughs> Phantom thieves, huh? Who are you? Well, you're in the intro. Phantom thieves. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the posture on the dude on the left. Do you guys see the news like about Marami? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Yes, they did. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. Can we stop shouting these things in public? With this power, we might be able to ah. do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Oh, 
it's definitely gonna be a big deal if you get caught because you keep running your mouth! I don't know! Man, you're so indifferent. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Nobody knows who we are! Something like this happening twice is massive, too. Yeah. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. I hope so. <laughs> you may want to quiet down a little. Finally! Thank you, Yusuke. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, uh, yes! How can we help you? Oh, no. That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? Yeah. Uh, we were, uh... <laughs> with delinquents. I give us your lunch money. No. Uh... That is absolutely not the. Then again, maybe, maybe that's just my American upbringing talking. Maybe I don't trust officers. But what do we look like? You look like you're arrested. Time to meet the arrest quota for today. No. Uh, we wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? Huh? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. It has. We'll be careful. Ugh. Oh, good it's stuff. light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. Yeah, well, you played it off real well. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Ugh, finally. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? No shit! That'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. No, he's not. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? From this position, it looks like that red arrow above Yusuke is marking him out as the target NPC that we need to, like, talk to. <laughs> Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. Okay. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. Yep. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? Panic. I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Okay. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay <laughs> free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. Ah, oh, lucky. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? His art was being passed off as the art of a master. Yes, he is that good. Although, Takamaki-san's house <laughs> would do as well. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. <laughs> Don't encourage him! You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the Maybe. time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. Yeah. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Oh, back to the mission objective of being be a model student. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right. Guess it's just more prep till then. Yep. Oh God, and she heard Yusuke everything. Ah! Oh, the time.
time being is taking me. It's been so long since the last visit. All right. What now? What's so hard to believe now? So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? Yes. You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Yes. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. Also, yes. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? You said the truth. Hmm. Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. <laughs> now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. All right, There's no well, point in being see. stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Well, then go ahead and do your little investigation. Eh, uh, you know, let's, let's just play a strong, silent type. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. <laughs> I ain't no snitch. It was around this time that the Phantom no Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because we got mentioned on live national television. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. Yep. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Almost like it was intentional. Now your next target was this man. Okay. Junya Kaneshiro. <laughs> wow, absolute unit. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. Really? So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Well, it started like this. A week before we even knew anything was wrong. <laughs> The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. Yep. I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Captain Horseface. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Okay, I see why you're the director. Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Maybe not that. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. I like you. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. On that one sentence Very alone, well. I leave it to you. I like this lady. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. Sometimes. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Eh, shut up. Sometimes getting it done and getting it done right is more important than territory and personal pride. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation it's must this be approached with the utmost seriousness. From the hotel and from the start of the game. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed, <sighs> What is that? Are you like manipulating this dude or something? I think I bit my tongue and I'm now speaking oh. with a lip. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. Okay. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? Wow. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? Uh, he very obviously feels like he knows us here. But, I don't like being a, you're exaggerating. I certainly am not. 
I must express my gratitude earnestly. <laughs> You're one of us now, man. Let me count on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well, then, let's see. Alright. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success! So, that said, you got time after this? For what? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today. So, you wanna go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you wanna play two Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Mm. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, then let's head to this darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm on it! Oh, right, the place is in Kichi. Kichi Joji? So we gotta take the train first. I've never been there. Oh. What, for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head for the Inogami line first, okay? Oh, don't make me actually navigate! Oh, no! Got me like I'm giving it right, Let's go. Oh, it's past you, Nokashira. Alright. Popular with men and women of all ages, the streets are lined with the shop. Alright. Now, Ugh. we're heading to an area that's outside of where oh. your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Oh! Oh, no. My money! You will have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. Oh, okay. <sighs> Those two. I don't know what kind of voice I should give you, Makoto. I'll think about it. <coughs> oh, so this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibi, you're just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah. Looks like there are a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Uh, it seems interesting. Right? <laughs> oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Aunt's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be more fun to come here with some more people. I think the Dark Slime is one block up from the right. main street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Alright, so what do we got? Information center. <laughs> what is with this? Master detective. Secret technique. Reading book style. Hi there. We do our best to provide information regarding this area. Hey. Any questions? Wow. <laughs> Too many people. My frames. My frames. Well then. Secondhand clothing store here. This is located on the Promenade Street. The manager always greets me in the morning, but he's always saying, I specifically want sooty clothing. And is quite picky about what you bring in, too. Oh, and have you been to the incense store in Harmony Alley? It actually opened quite recently. They have incenses that people have never even heard of before, and it's not a fishy store either. Is there anything else? Nah, that's good. Come again. I kind of like the background music, but this is very light. Stationary. Hmm. My Morgana senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana well. senses? Well, let's take a look. What oh, would you like? Funny items you can gift to others. Oh, oh! Okay. 
a sophisticated pet case made with quality leather for a gentle but Alright, fine. I've got money to spare. I'll just grab all these gifts. Okay, I promise. I'm. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, laptop, are you okay? I didn't think you'd actually buy something. <laughs> Did your senses tell you to get one? You can say that. Cell phone shop. Is this a city place? Second hand hey. clothes. Oh, dude, check out that sign in the store. It says, bring your sunny clothing here. Sooty clothes? Hmm. Let's see what they've got. Welcome. If you're looking to sell clothes, wait, what's that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. At the second hand shop, you can sell sooty armor you own. Finally, I can get rid of it. Depending on what sooty armor it was, it may fetch a decent price. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for price. Okay, interesting. Yes. This guy's reacting to clothing that we got from Shadows. It seems he knows what he's talking about. I've been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. All right, I'll buy it. I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a point card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them for a prize. So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. hmm. Not only is he going to buy them from us, he's going to give us points for them too? We should definitely come back here. So what can I do for you? Welcome! I have... Like... 90 bajil- Yeah, look at that! Look at that! 85! I'm about to be... Very wealthy. Uh, let's keep... No, because this is a speed design. That's going to be super weak. Sweet. Sell it all. Oh, I just doubled my bank account. All right, let me see the prizes. store on the Citadel. Ah, I can't bite my cheeks and tongue. What is wrong with me? <laughs> but I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Okay. I no longer care about... Uh, well, gentle faced among men. Good day. What brings you here? Oh, surprised to see you. Fred, I'm merely a fellow human being. Eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You are most welcome to visit any time. Hey! Let's come back another time. We've got something else to do right now. Yeah, we got darts to play. I'm navigating by minimap right now. Is that a is that a piano? What the hell is this? A jazz club? Oh! Seems like a place for adults. Alright, well, I just looked at the recording timer. We gotta get to. Oh, there it is. Oh. Ah, this is the road. Hey. Name on this shop matches what's on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper? Why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? It's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, 
Well, whatever. Let's check it out. Let's do that indeed. I should write something. Next time. Oh no, another cliffhanger! What are we gonna do? We're gonna wait. <laughs> we really can't do much other than wait. Why?